eventually. Oh, baby! Woo! Did you get him? We're going to Disneyland! Nice, cool. One, one line, another person in line, another person in line, 80 people in line. <laughs> Zach, get out of here. It is your turn. <gasps> really? It says you are now being redirected to the website. April 3rd, we're going to Disney. Let's go. I'm so excited! That was so stressful. It took way too long. Hey guys, look where we are. Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Zach. And Lauren. And today, we're back, baby. We are in California Adventure Disneyland. We are going to... Touch of Disney. Touch of Disney. So excited to go. We're finally back. Here is actually the Disneyland entrance over there. California Adventure is back there. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go through Touch of Disney today. We're gonna give you all the insider access today. We're going to eat tons of food. We're gonna go buy merch, walk around all of California Adventure. So excited today. All right, so this is the line to get into basically the parks, even like the downtown Disney on Harbor Boulevard side. Um, we were clear in the back, all the way back there. And they didn't start letting people in until 11.30, so about 30 minutes before it actually opens. And it goes pretty far, it goes clear up there, comes back, goes into here, and then it'll go down to security checks, and then it's clear up there is where we can actually get in. So it could be a minute, but we didn't really come very early, so we were not prepared. Look at Lauren's cute ears and her dress and her shoes. Ow, and my shoes. Ooh, yeah. Wow. Good, I guess. <laughs> so we just waited in that line. We got in it at about 11.20, I'd say. And we waited probably about 40 minutes. It's 12 o'clock right now, so it wasn't too long. It was nice. Honestly, it, they just kind of like pushed people through at like a slow pace. Our friends are already in California Adventure. You guys remember Kylie and Kendall. They're here today. Yay. <laughs> if someone sends me $5, I will go in right now. I will just go in, walk through, and go ride Splash Mountain. Yeah. Lauren, will you give me five bucks if I go in? Let me in. Let me in. Lauren, what are you most excited for today? To see the pier. Oh, I forgot, yeah. We get to walk all the way back, so we get to see the pier. We get to see, apparently the rides are working too. We get to see some of those, hopefully. Possibly, hopefully. Maybe they'll let us on the rides too. Yeah, maybe we'll try to convince them, just like let us on. No screaming allowed. You know, I think Jake was gonna sneak on the Guardians. Oh yeah. Why don't you tell him? Oh, well, they'll see this later. No worries, we'll get onto it. Hi. Thank you. Oh baby, we're back. California Adventure. Also, like I said earlier, we brought our best friends and told them to meet us. It's Kendall! Hello. And Kylie! Ah! <laughs> I don't know. I think we're looking at Why is this Zoom? Why is this so Zoom? Ah! Sheesh! It's so pretty! It looks so nice with like this many people in here. You can see the sign on Carthay, Welcome to Touch of Disney. It just looks so pretty. Even the trees are all blossomed. So just to give a little idea of what the lines are like, that's the cart. This is the line. And it goes all the way back there onto Hollywood Boulevard, so. Yeah, I don't really know what we're gonna do, actually. Oh, wait! Freaking Pluto! I forgot to tell you guys, Jake's here today, so... You know it's baby. You already know the vlog is busting now. <laughs> Apparently later, this is where um, Max and Goofy are supposed to do a little show, like the perfect cast thing. I honestly miss eating at Pacific Wharf. We usually eat all the time. Every single time we come, we eat there. Right now, we're just walking over to the other line. 
that we can actually order food from. So let me tell you guys about this. I'm gonna flip the camera around. So the biggest way to finesse Touch of Disney, if you guys are coming in the future, um, if you already came, I guess you might know this, but most of the time to order food, you're gonna have to wait in the lines to actually order the food. As you can see, like right here, we have these cashier lines for the food. So what you can do is you can actually go up to the line and order all your food for the day. And you get like a receipt, and you can take that receipt to the different vendors that you actually want the food from, from the restaurants, and they will hit you up with the food right there. You don't have to wait in any line, you just walk straight in. So if you guys didn't know, that's definitely the best way to do it. Look who it is. I told you they were putting on a little show. Also, power line. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right, we we're finally done waiting in that line. We ordered all our food. I'm gonna do a food breakdown when we sit at the table, but right now we are gonna head over to the wharf. We're going to Cocina Cucamonga. We're gonna get, what the heck do we even order from there? Okay, I honestly don't remember, but we're gonna go over there, we're gonna get that, then we're gonna go back and get them the wings over at Golden Dreams. And then we're all gonna meet here and find a table and we're all gonna start grubbing, so that is what's first on the to-do list. I definitely wish that at least Grizzly was open right now, because it is pretty hot and humid right now. I am in line picking up um, some food from Golden Dreams. I'm getting like the sweet and spicy chicken wings. And then Lauren's at Cocina Cucamonga and she's picking up the Bengal barbecue skewer, baby. Shoo! Thank you. Shoo! All right, so right here we got the Bengal beef skewer. Ooh, yum. Water. Then we, then we got some, um, what's this called? Sweet and spicy chicken, chicken wings. Chicken wings, chicken wings. Chicken yeah. wings. <laughs> chicken wings. Kendall already <laughs> ate her um, beef skewer. How was it? It was very good. I was hungry. Kylie's basically done. Out of five, what do you rate it? Beef skewer. Four and a half. Yeah, four and a half. Four and a half. I wish there was more. Yeah, there's only like three little pieces. I, I wish there was a the portion get? size. Cheeseburger mac and cheese. Wish I, I could review it, but I don't have utensils. Okay, first we're gonna try the beef skewer. Skewer. Mm. That's such a weird word. Mm -hmm. Skewer, screwer. Mm. Skewer. Mm. How is it? <laughs> it looks so good. good. The meat is like so tender and juicy. Ew. <laughs> The sauce on this is so good. Okay, hand me those little tacos. Mm. Ew. <laughs> I don't know what kind of sauce it is, but. <laughs> yeah, it was very disturbing. Small. Chicken <laughs> wings are, they're all right. I mean, Buffalo Wild Wings probably has about the same quality. This sauce is interesting. I don't know what this is. On the wing though. Come here. All right. I don't know. Mayo? Sriracha mayo maybe? I'd say it's kind of like sriracha mayo. I think I would give the wings a three out of five. Not impressed, but I like chicken wings, so I'll give it a three. They're not special. Mm -hmm. Not anything special. I give it a two out of five. That was even more generous than that. <laughs> These I give five out of five. Five out of five. Mm -hmm. Give me that. Anyway, skewers. All right, skewers are nice and moist. That's some good meat right there. That's a four and a half, though. Not a five. See, that's what I said. Four and a half. Five. Four and a half. <laughs> we could always just log into mine. <laughs> Candace got the shakatari board. Paul got a pork bond, I think. Pork bond me. Pork bond me. Pork bond me. Well, they left me. They're up there. So now I have to go find them. Pixar Pier, baby. Oh look, I found them. Found them. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah! 
So we got the pineapple lemon swirl. Yeah. I think that's what it's called. Lauren said a lot of people were raving about it. So if it disappoints me, it's going in the water. <laughs> All right, let's try it. I don't think you're gonna like it. It's not better than an original Dole Whip. Well, yeah, I don't think it's better. I only got it because a lot of people were saying it was really, really good. But sadly, I don't agree with all those people. <laughs> I like the Abominable Snowman one with like the lemon and the blue. I don't think Lauren liked that one, but I like that one better. I think Dole Whip should stay on its own. I give it a three out of 10. Out of five. <laughs> three out of five. Also a three out of five. Now, just a Dole Whip, a thousand out of five. All right, let's go. There's not really tables right here. Okay, you have one shot. Okay. Get the coin in there. Oh, she made it. Let's go. You think he's gonna fly? And now we wait. <laughs> I didn't see anything fly. It's gonna go on the upside down. <laughs> I have no clue, but um, that was pretty. I can't believe I made it. Yeah. Cool. That was cool, right? We'll play some carnival games now. Let's I play some shot. carnival <laughs> games. I got a good shot. The most depressing part of Touch of Disney is oh Senor Buzz churros are not open. No one can tell me different, but those are the best churros in. California Adventure in Disneyland. You can't change my mind. Another cool thing you can do is they have all of the arcade games open right now. So you can play the space race there. You got Heimlich's like the, I guess it's the candy corn toss. It's the toss game. And you also have um, the stampede game right there too that you can all play. Of course, everyone's touching the Pixar ball there. Um, but they do have like all the games kind of available for everyone to play. One of probably my favorite rides in Pixar Pier probably is the Silly Symphony Swings. I really wish that one was open. That one's super fun. Just kind of like kick your legs out and chill. Lauren likes the Symphony Swings too. I do. This is where you get good old magnet and the pin. This is what I live with. This has been her dance move. Oh gosh. <laughs> New ear check. Show your style. Should I be that person? No. <laughs> Surf's up, dude. Surf's up, dude. <laughs> Look, Minnie Mouse is right here. Into Cars Land we go. 100% my favorite part of California Adventure. Just feels so realistic. Um, back there. We just came in through the entrance to the side and you could actually see Avengers Campus like to the side over there. I'll show you guys. You can kind of see the red through there, but I'll show you guys better footage later. I'm very excited for Avengers Campus though. I hope that comes out soon. Um, in right now we are headed to get some good old cozy cone mac and cheese cones. Gonna do that. Probably gonna go ride. Um, Radiator Springs Racers, you know, you know what's up. So we're back behind the cozy cones and you can kind of see some more footage. It's super bad, you can barely tell. But over there is actually Avengers Campus. It looks like Whoa, that's like <laughs> a ride or something. I'm not sure, but that's just some parts of it because Garden is right there and there's the wall on the other side. Next up, we got the bacon mac and cheese cone from over in Cozy Cone. It did take a while to get. They actually split the line into two separate lines over there. But I'm excited for this one. I think this one will taste good. We're going to try this one out when Lauren gets back. Okay. How about you guys? This. I like this. Chili cone mac and cheese. That rose lemonade is really good, actually. How's that? The noodles were nice and moist, weren't too soggy. Stop saying noise. Also, that is so good. If you guys come here, 
That rose lemonade is so good. We have one. Maybe it's because she uh, she put water in it and watered it down. That's what she's doing right now. What was that one? Uh, pomegranate limeade. That one was intense. Well, that was intense. But I think you just gotta water it down. Good. Alright, out of five. Mac and cheese cone, what do you rate it? Um, I say the mac and cheese, like, probably three and a half out of five. It kind of tastes like. The plastic cheese is just melted onto noodles. That was pure Velveeta. <laughs> that was pure Velveeta. I would probably give it a two out of five. But the cone is like a two and a half out of five. Three out of five. Of one out of ten. <laughs> That's not it. Anyways, we just walked over from Cars Land. Right over to here is where we get the good old. Pepperoni pizza egg rolls. I'm excited for these. I don't know how they're gonna taste. Hopefully they're not super weird, but I think they're gonna be pretty dang good. Here you go. Thank you. Of course. Those are so small, but they look good. Sheesh! They even got Grizzly Rapids, the falls going. Now I just wanna go ride the ride. Next up, we got the Pizza, egg rolls. I think they have like a marinara and a pesto sauce, it looks like. That's my guess. I don't know. Lauren, try it out. I thought that was guacamole. <laughs> you have guacamole with your pizza? <laughs> you would, actually. Rate it, one to five. If it was a little warmer and cheesier, it'd be five out of five, but I give it four out of five because- Four out of five? It's not super warm. I like it. But it nailed the taste of pepperoni. I also just tried it. It is pretty good. Yeah. It's kind of like pizza roll, basically. It's good. Maybe four out of five. Three and a half, four out of five, that's what I'd say. Real quick, just wanted to say, we tried the Waltz chili, um, that was so good. and it was super good. Honestly, so far it's the best thing. Five out of five. Five out of five. Hundred percent. Can I give you a high five? Oh. Five out of five. <laughs> also, Zach is sunburned. No, I'm not. He's sunburned right there and right there. And his neck. Oh. Yeah, he's sunburned. Don't already. show the camera my body. Ah. My boy Pluto's back. Yee. Right now. We are on our way to actually go through some shops now. Try to do something a little different. And then we got some people picking up some stuff from Award Wieners. Monte Cristo's is gonna be in a little bit. Probably the part I'm most hyped about. Monte Cristo's is that smoke jumpers down there. So we'll go to that, but first we're just gonna check out some shops. Back again in Elias' shop. Um, if you guys saw our California Adventure vlog, you would have seen that we came in here looking for something. I don't know why we're in here. We're just looking for stuff, seeing if there's anything new. We gotta be indoors. Yeah, really just kind of taking a break, honestly. Um, I think we might be trying to find some shirts, but I don't really know Probably what they got. Not. Hopefully, we they bought a blanket last night in downtown Disney, so that blanket was that nice. That kind of took all of our money. <laughs> um, it's the best blanket ever. Those are new, I think. I have not seen these ones. Model Let's see what they look like. Model, model, fashion. Oh yeah! <laughs> Come up close. Let's see him. Man, this backlit terribly. There we go. Ooh! Now that's an ears model right there. You know what time it is. It's that about that time. Churro toffee. Time is it? Toffee time? 
Talkie time. Hey guys, we literally cleared out the taro coffee. <laughs> they just took it off of the shelf because our friends bought four and we bought the last five. We don't even need five, so I just said I'll take the rest. <laughs> Sorry everyone, I bought all the churro toffee. <laughs> I'm not kidding when we say we bought all of their churro toffee. We literally bought the last nine pieces of churro toffee. I'm sorry to anyone who's in line behind us. I'm very sorry. Sorry guys. We just spent $70 on toffee, so that's nice. Done in the shops, done getting our churro toffee, and now is probably the best time of the day. It's time for the Monte Cristo. Monte Cristo, baby. I'm so hyped for these. When I say hyped, I mean hyped. Oh baby, what you got over there? I'm about to Monte Cristo. Oh shit. Ooh, ah, yum. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here's the One time, when Disneyland was open and we went for Thanksgiving, Zach took me on a date to the, what was it called? Ca Cafe Orleans or something. Yeah. And we went away from the family and we got Monte Cristos and they didn't. <laughs> Kylie's gonna try to make something into Zach's mouth. Ready? <laughs> Woo! I just walked too low. <laughs> It almost got it though. It touched your mouth, didn't it? Nope. Um, it hit my chin. Didn't catch it. Could have been good. Nice try though. Not gonna lie, the popcorn always looks and smells so good. But I never get it because I never like it. So that's sad because it always smells so good. I think popcorn here could be better, but it is what it is. Right now we just finished, had a churro from Willie's churro cart down there we're heading up to get the gumbo um, I think we're gonna go in a store up here and then I don't know what else we're doing honestly but I think we're gonna go eat selfie oh Donald is that you <laughs> bus it nice Get it, I guess. Boom. I think it's time to have a a little talk with y'all. Music is just not the same. It feels like a radio station almost. Like they're just playing different vibes. They have like ads come up that like promote going to like different merch shops or wearing your masks and stuff like that. So it's just not the same. I wish they had the old music because it was a lot better. I do like all the tables right here that we can kind of sit and chill there. We're trying to get a table right there while we eat our chicken gumbo, but look at the pier. She, she looking cute tonight. I think we're also going to try to be in Cars Land by the time um, they kind of light it, but we're going to go get the food right now. I forgot, we got the chicken gumbo and the tenderloin slider from here. Those are our last ones off of our receipt for the night. So after that, we will just have our tomato soup over back on the wharf. Tenderloin slider and the chicken gumbo. Mm. What'd you guys get? We got the carbonara mac and cheese and the chicken gumbo. And the gumbo. How is Bro's that? Lemonade. It's really good. Everyone says that's super good. Here, try it. Okay. <laughs> he went to his. <laughs> Yo, that's actually pretty good. Honestly, way better than your mac and cheese. <laughs> that is better. That's better than the cone mac and cheese for sure. Yeah, it is. Chicken gumbo's good. It's okay. The meat's like a little dry. And there's not much sauce on it. I think the gumbo, I give it a <laughs> four out of ten. Maybe four and a half, actually. Four and a half is my final count. Yeah, I give this like a three out of ten. Wider time, baby. 
lighter was dry. Yeah. That's not that good. Two out of ten. Not not my favorite. One of my least favorites of the day. Dang. And it's small. It's pretty good. I like the spice. It has a good like level of spice. I think it's good. Yeah, it's one of the better things we've well, had today, but not my, like my favorite. Out of five? Mm, I give it three out of five. Uh, that's low. She rated that low, but and the were good. is what it is. What else did we get? Took our pictures down on boardwalk here in the pier. So now we're gonna go find the rest of the family and see how they like their food. You guys, look at Sarah takeover. <laughs> Do the dance. <laughs> yeah, get it, I guess. <laughs> we are on our way over to pick up our last meal of the night. Out on the wharf, we're going back to get a grilled cheese. <laughs> this kid. <laughs> Sorry for him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. See, now the end of the night comes and we all get hyped. Wow. <laughs> it's some jolly holiday vibes for show. He's warming up over that. Woo. Baby, jolly holiday. She looks good. How's she tasting? How do you know it's Out of five. Tastes like a grilled cheese that was made 20 minutes ago and a Campbell's tomato soup. <laughs> well, that makes sense because all right. <laughs> they were all just sitting on the shelf, so they have I mean, definitely been there for a minute. You can never go wrong with grilled cheese and tomato even, soup. Even, so it's still good. Just wait. You <laughs> both just knocked your head every week. <laughs> Out of five. Three and a half. Wow, that was. All right. All right out of five. All right. <laughs> Three out of five. Three and a half. All right. Hey. I give it a three. Like that I cried. Look at that lighting though. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> I'm not putting that in. You stop making that face. You're so <laughs> ugly. <laughs> um, real quick, just want to say, uh, grilled cheese, three and a half out of five. The grilled cheese has been sitting out for 30 minutes. No cap. Look, here's California Screaming. Ready, ready, ready? Whoa! Oh. 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 The Jack Jack part, the. Oh. <laughs> cookie, nom nom, nom nom, cookie. <laughs> copyright, copyright, copyright. Copyright, copyright, copyright. <laughs> Euro step, baby. Why not take your best hey, yo. food? Yes. I think he's doing the dance. I think he's doing the dance. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. We got about 15 minutes left, but we decided to end the day in, again, my favorite part of California Adventure here in Cars Land. It really just looks so sick at night. Love the cozy cone, flows, all the details, just the best part, honestly. Also, I want a churro. So I think I'm gonna find one. Get it, I guess. Oh, that's good. <laughs> okay, so I couldn't take you guys to where I wanted to go to show you Avengers Campus, but I hopped over the wall. Look at that. That's insane. I'm going to throw the clip on the video too, but... Avengers Campus looks absolutely nuts. I'm so excited for that. Hopefully they open that this year when they kind of let everyone go in. Last hand sanitizer. 
as we leave California Adventure and head over to Disneyland. Downtown Disneyland. Downtown Disneyland. Whoops, my bad. Oh well, yeah, sad. I'm crying. Stop. I stopped. <laughs> Bye. Don't let it go. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it for today. What do you rate? coming to a touch of Disney. So touch of Disney. It was super fun. I liked the experience just being there. I did not like the music. I wish they had the actual, I mean, I get it that it wasn't the same because it wasn't the same riding rides and stuff, but I just wish it was different music. Um, food wise, food was great. Food, I'd probably give it a three and a half, four out of five, four out of five. Not the best. Food and wine festival is food definitely and wine is better. better. Food and wine is better. But it was nice to have like, it was just de classic Disney, like Monte Cristo, Dole Whip, Turtles, Bangle. Yeah, that was good. So four out of five is what I'd say. Definitely worth it. I say definitely worth it too. I give it like a three and a half, four out of five. Yeah, it was so fun. I had a great day. Weather was nice. Wasn't it did get super kind of crowded, hot, yeah. But... That's okay. It was still good. Um, other than that, I'm just excited for it to open, honestly, because I just wanted to ride the rides. Yeah, except us Utahns can't go. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll go as soon as we're allowed to. As soon as it opens, <laughs> we'll be there because Avengers Campus looks so sick. Yeah. Anyways, good. well, that's it for today's vlog. We love you guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. If you, if you like this video, Come on. like, comment, and subscribe because why not? It just helps yeah. us out. But we love you and we'll see you next time. Bye.